What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Power World. And today we've got a massive update. Oh my gosh, they snuck in some new content, and they gave us some quality of life upgrades and some things that we have been at with, like that are just it's literally cha game changing. Okay, game changing. We're gonna tell you it's game changing because it's game changing. Um, so yeah, hopefully you're all on a wonderful day. We're gonna go through a list of the things, and we're gonna go through some of the stuff, and uh, just have a good time. So yeah, thanks for coming out. Hopefully this helps. If it does, like, subscribe, all the fun things. But anyways, further this is without further ado. The biggest thing that I think is probably going to help um, a lot of people, and leave a comment. Let me know what your biggest thing is on this list. Uh, let's see if we can go into here. So we have got ourselves. Um, okay, I don't see it there. Oh, let's see here. Let's go over to defenses. Okay, so we have a mountain machine gun. We've got that other. Um, these are in there. Furniture, that's all looking good. But what I want is, let's go to our technology tree here. There is a specifically a new item that has been added to the game that is going to make everybody extremely, extremely happy. And I just have to see if I can find it. Okay, so what we're looking for is actually over here in ancient technology. That is going to be the new ore mining site facility for producing ore. Mining ore is work and physical required. Basically, guess what? Now we can mine ore wherever you need to. And on top of that, which we're gonna build that and check that out. There's a couple new items here. We're gonna talk about this one in a second. Um, there's also a, where is it at? Ore mining site two, facility for producing large quantity of ores. Uh, mining ore is hard work for physical nerds. Leave it to pals and skilled at mining. So there is two levels of ore mining, which is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the other thing that's amazing right here is the Ring of Mercy. There is a, a pacifist ring. The wearer's attacks will not reduce the target's health below one. So basically like a false swipe. So basically when you're out there trying to hunt your pals, trying to catch stuff, you build your, you make yourself a ring of mercy. You can just go town, go to town with yourself. This is for yourself. This is only for your character. Uh, you go to town and only take their health down to one. So we're going to go try that out. We're going to build ourselves an ore mining site as well. So let's actually see what's needed. Um, actually, hold on. Let's see what's needed for the ore mining site tier one. And then I'm also going to go ahead and unlock the ore mining site tier two. Um, and the reason this is so game changing <laughs> Oh my gosh is because now you don't have to build at a base like we're at right now um so like my base that we're currently at is only here for the fact of ore and coal which is i mean i, I get it's, it's good and it's nice that it naturally spawns but now that we have these ore pits it's gonna be fantastic and then uh we can use the wood instead to get charcoal and basically you have your automation everywhere you need to so um unless you need coal specifically but then you can always go out and farm coal super easy so um, yeah, very exciting stuff, but let's go ahead and let's see what the, um, let's see what it takes to actually build an ore mining site. So we've got stone ingot and pallium fragment. And then what about an ore mining site tier two? So an ore mining site tier two, stone, iron, and pallium fragment. It's the same thing. It's extremely, it's, it's actually extremely easy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get those built. And then, um, I also, like I said, I also want to go ahead and make one of the rings for ourselves so let's go ahead and inquire let's go into here what does the ring require so ring of mercy uh require <laughs> requires pallium fragments let's go ahead and sleep for the night and let's get these let's get this pallium fragments so let's go check all this stuff out um and now also i want to talk about it real quick because i'm not sure if they have them or not um actually let me look at my stuff so heat resistant undershirt heat resistant undershirt there's a new shirt as well that is both heat and cold resistant so you only have to have one slot taken up by that which is amazing um there's also um a new item i believe that is stat glasses which allows you to see um stats of your your pals which i don't know if that's what this is right now because like if i hover over them i can actually see them from a distance um you can see like my stats stuff like that but there's a passive there's a new passive on some pals it is called um, mercy hit pals with this passive cannot reduce enemy HP below one when attacking so maybe you want to go out and have a pal that's uh, basically doing the ring of mercy as well well there you go so all right let's go ahead let's get the ring of mercy built let's get an ore pit built and let's check these things out all right so for our ore pit let's let's see here I'm just I'm so excited about this ore pit <laughs> you have no idea um, Ore mining site should we just go with the ore mining site too or should we get both of them? I mean, one of them is going to be a little bit faster than the other one. That's basically all the difference is going to be. So let's just go with ore mining site two. Um, ore mining site one is going to be the exact same thing, except for, you know, probably a little bit slower. Where is, you know what? I need some ingots. And there's my ingots. Wonderful. Super fast, super quick. And I love it. Okay. So let's place this ore mining site tier two. Oh my gosh. It is sizable. 
Okay, it is. It is actually. Hold on. What is what is the size? Let's see what the let's see what the tier one looks like. It's considerably smaller. Okay, so the tier one is considerably smaller. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't want to do that one. Okay. Well, there's a tier one built. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go. <laughs> tier one's built. All right. Let's go ahead and let's build the uh, let's build the tier two. <laughs> we'll build both of them, and then we can check them out side by side. Let's see if I can place this one over here somewhere, maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's the tier two. Oh my gosh. Tier two is huge. Oh, you know what's interesting is that they went straight for that one. They didn't go straight for this one. So this one appears to have um menu. Turn the box out of party feed, view details. This appears. Oh my gosh. That is so fast. Are you kidding me? They already got 12 iron ingots. Or 12 iron. Okay, so oh no, each one has three. How fast is this one? Oh, this one's not even remotely close. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, deconstruct this one because there's no need for that one. Um, oh my gosh, this ore mining site tier two is insane. Look at how fast. Now keep in mind that these are because of the uh, the Anubis that we have. Um, Anubis are really really good miners, but 23, 24, like that's crazy fast. That is crazy fast. Okay, so we did that. Let's go ahead and let's go see if we can get a um, a ring of mercy made. And we're gonna go try that out. See how this goes. Uh, let's see. Ring of mercy. Start production. I just want one of those. All right, we're gonna go and acquire that. Now, the ring of mercy. Is that something? Okay, so that's something that swaps your shirt out. So that would be a reason why you want the new the new shirt. Um, the new multi the multi temp shirt. Okay, so let's we have that on. Let's go. Let's go try this out. Um, Jet Ragon, let's go. We are gonna go and literally just try to. Um, I'm gonna just destroy something. Well, okay, a B guard is not a B guard. Literally anything else would be fine, because B guard will uh, B guard will explode itself. So that's not gonna help us at all. You know, what? I'm actually kind of curious. Does it work on people? Like, if I take you out, are you gonna survive with one HP? They do. Oh well, that's good and bad. Um, interesting. So it also works on people. That's hilarious. <laughs> Go capture your people, I guess, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got to have a, we've got to have a pal around here somewhere. Okay, here we go. We got some, we got some of these guys. So if I take you, yep, that throws them straight into one HP. Oh my gosh. That is such a game changing thing because doing just enough damage to take down um, the health on these guys was like, it was a thing. It was absolutely a thing. And now you could just use a rocket launcher and just like one shot him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. These balls are not strong enough for this guy, but I don't even care. <laughs> we're we're gonna blue ball okay so the mercy ring is working oh my gosh you know what that's fine we'll go with what do i have a lot of i have a lot of ultra spheres okay we got them cool all right so that is fantastic now like i said um there is also a um there's also passive for your pals that will uh, cause it so if you're if you have a pal that's not like you know taking things out just make sure your passives do not have um mercy hit this it says it's a new passive so that is the thing as well okay now on to other new and exciting things i'm sorry i think the uh, i think the, the 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 iron pit the ore pit is just amazing and the fact that that was just added like that is absolutely insane so very cool you can have your base pretty much wherever you want now um if you're not worried about coal um which i guess you don't really have to worry about worry about coal anymore because well actually hold on a second if we go into here um, and I want to do charcoal. So yeah, we need coal. We only need coal for refined ingots. So, I mean, I guess you could still use the coal, but I mean, you can go out and farm coal super easy. So very cool. Okay. So another thing that is new is the summoning altar. And this is honestly the biggest thing with the update. I just thought the other stuff was a little bit bigger, but this is the summoning altar, which allows us to summon raid bosses. So after a slab depicting a pal, uh, offer a slab depicting a pal to summon a powerful pal to your base adequate caution and battle readiness is paramount so that is huge um and what's exciting about that is it says 
your base. So you're going to build this at your base. So you're probably going to make a dedicated base for um, raids. And then you're, you can use all of your base pals in order to uh, in order to take them out. Um, so which, what is an ancient civilization core? What is that? I have no idea what that is. So basically, we're going to go build this and summon something if we can. Um, I don't know where to get the slab yet. So we might have to figure that out. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Um, and then we also have this Homeward Thundercloud. Uh, transport to, to the nearest base cannot be used in dungeons or other similar locations. But um, it looks like it is a, a usable item, consumable item that just immediately takes you back to a home base, which is pretty cool. So you can use that like a, if you need to, you know, pop in and out of anywhere in the world. And then also... There is a new electric uh, incubator, which I don't know if that is in. Yes, electric egg incubator, which automatically um, adjusts the temperature. So you don't have to worry about temperature anymore, uh, but it does use electricity. So that is super cool as well. But let's see about this. Let's see about this summoning altar and where we're going to put it. Um, I am a little worried here about it because, well, I don't know. It's a raid boss. So I imagine they're very difficult. All right. How big is this? Oh, my gosh. Okay, summoning altar is a little bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Well then, cause this right here, this is my this is my like egg farm base. But you know what? We might do. Let's just do this. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna deconstruct this stuff. Uh, we'll put a uh, we'll put the summoning altar up here and we'll kind of check that out. Basically, with the uh, with the new the new upgrades on stuff with the the new systems in place, it basically is now I just need to move stuff around. Okay, so let's see summoning altar right there now what do we need to actually summon this thing so open we don't have a tablet so i'm gonna have to figure out where to find the tablet all right so our summoning thing is here and it's ready to go we just got to find a slab for it so i don't know where the slab is off the top of my head i don't know yet this update literally just dropped about 30 minutes ago at the time of recording this uh, i know tomorrow at the time of this it released it you know be have been out for a day but um i don't know where the slab is at and i want to make a dedicated video on fighting this um this boss so we're gonna check this out in another video make sure you leave a like subscribe stay tuned for that it'll probably be out later today i'm um, the time release this video but uh what i want to do is i want to go see if we can find some of the other uh, new items because like i said there's so there's just so many new items here it's it's crazy um i want to see if we can find the new multi-temperature shirt thing uh and i think we might have a good place to go look for that i'm gonna go ahead and go back to my base sleep and then we'll uh, we'll go check that out okay so i'm gonna check here first this is the desert city um it seems like the desert city is usually usually has some some useful items so we're gonna see if the the shirts here if not it's probably gonna be like a, a chest in a cave or something like that but we can at least look and try to find out did they move some stuff around here a little bit wandering merchant let's see what you have did i even bring any uh stuff with me so multi-climate undershirt right there oh my gosh it's thirty thousand gold <laughs> uh there's also a ring of mercy that's pretty cool uh, so 30,000, I have none on me. I have 544. So let's go grab that. Now, I'm going to guess this is a multi-shirt probably tier one. Because we have, let's see, this is a heat-resistant shirt level one. And this is a heat-resistant shirt level three. Um, yeah, let me go grab my gold. We'll come back. We'll grab that. And I'm going to guess it's a level one. But we'll see how much it, we'll see how much protection it gives us. And you know what? Actually, while we're here grabbing gold, uh, let's talk about some new settings too. Because like, there, there's just so many quality of life things that have changed. There's now chest settings, so basically, uh, we can check all, uncheck all. We can put whatever we want in here. Um, so like, I can make a chest for whatever these items are, um, and then things will just get moved around as needed. It's it's just it's crazy. Like how much stuff, how many how many things we've gotten from this one update. Um, but I've got 154,000 gold, so we'll take that. We'll grab our um, we'll grab our stuff there, and then actually, you know what? Hold on, let's go ahead and build something else real quick. Um, there is something else that's actually kind of crazy uh the monitoring stand now let's talk about this monitoring stand just a little bit let me put it somewhere where it's not super in the way so we're gonna get that built now the monitoring stand i do believe it allows you to set work preferences this is insane <laughs> i can now choose that hey i don't want them to do whatever so like we have all of our new here right uh, or, or let's say, let's say the Jormantide Ignis. Well, you know what? All they can do is that and that anyways, but let's say we had a boss that, let's say we had a, a, a 
pal that did like multiple things, right? So planting handiwork. I don't want these. I don't want this one to do Verdash do any handiwork. So we're not gonna let them do handiwork. Um, we're also gonna not that not allow them to. I don't know move stuff. You know what I'm saying? So they're only gonna focus on what they're gonna focus on. Um, watering and lumbering. I don't want you to do lumbering. You are specifically a waterer. You know what I mean? Uh, same thing here. Don't want you to do lumber. Only do water. This is huge huge i'm telling you this update is literally changing the game for the better it is it is everything that the players have wanted this entire time and it's amazing and i love i absolutely love that they're listening to what the players want all right so let's take a look at this undershirt this new shirt here uh buy we're gonna go buy this buy one and let's see here okay so we're gonna take this one off and we're gonna put on this one now that oh my gosh that only gives me one notch of heat. Holy moly. Okay, so an example, um, a heat resistant undershirt level one uh, gives me the same thing. So that's basically giving me the same resistance as a level one heat shirt. Um, let's see if we go to heat resistant level three, my heat resistance is completely gone, but we still have some cold resistance. Uh, but now with this, heat resistance level one, cold resistance level one. So there, it says right there specifically level one, level one. So you might be able to find level two, level, level two, level three, level three. Um, so I will probably be rocking just this one. That way we have cold resistance because actually, yeah, we're, we're maxed out on cold already, which is actually kind of crazy. How are we maxed? Oh, it's because I already have, it's because I have cold resistance um, refined metal armor on. That's why. So that is really nice. Uh, that's a really, really handy little thing as well. So if you, uh, if you need it, you can come here and buy it <laughs> and, uh, and get it that way as well. So, oh my gosh, so many things, so many new things to check out, but that's going to end this episode. I really just want to check over. I want to talk about um, a lot of the big things. And like I said, next episode, we're going to get into um, the, sh the, the boss raids or the, the, the raids, I guess we're going to try our hand at a raid. See how that goes. We might even do some new building as well, because um, I don't know if it's, I, I'm, pretty sure it's new but i uh saw all the metal stuff in here which i don't remember seeing the metal defensive stuff so iron gate metal defensive walls we've got that stuff now like it just seems like we're probably gonna need the mounted missile launchers uh we're probably gonna need a whole bunch of uh you know really strong uh pals at the raid base to deal with these raid raid pals um they have a chance to drop eggs and stuff like that but um yeah like i said i don't have i don't know how to get it right now because the update just dropped so I'm gonna spend some time work on getting that have a dedicated video but thanks again for coming out hopefully this helped if it did like subscribe all my things and i'll see you in the next one Bye.